How's it going, Yorkshire fam? Welcome back to the channel, and it's me, the Yorkshireman React, back again with another reaction video. So, Berniston, Berniston, um, a Scottish sitcom or sketch show that we started doing reactions to, but haven't done one for quite a while. It's been three weeks since the last one, so I thought it was about time to get back to it. And you guys have been asking for it. So, we are going to check out episode 3 of the first series. The first two episodes were really good, I enjoyed them. Uh, so yeah, I'm expecting nothing less. So nothing much to say really. Uh, just a quick reminder, because it's Christmas, everybody please, if you can, go and check out the Patreon page um, and join it if you can. I'm going to be thinking up some new special offers over the Christmas period. Uh, Probably similar to the uh, Black Friday offer that I did and then extended it for a few weeks. Stuff like that, you know. Or at the very, very least, discounts, half price on on both tiers, you know. So, yeah, go and join the Patreon page. I'll be putting a lot of content on there over the Christmas period. Um, it's going to be like my gift to you. There's going to be all sorts going on there. Yeah, uh, stuff that you haven't even asked for. I'm just going to put stuff on there that you're not going to see coming, okay? It's going to be great. Anyway. Uh, let's get into this. So if you enjoyed this, please do give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new. Let's go. Alright, Scott. Alright, Pierre. Alright, Mocker. Alright, Big Ian. Alright, Big Chat. Alright, Boss. Alright, Chief. Alright, Big Man. Alright, Wee Man. Alright, Big Fella. Alright, Wee Fella. Alright, Ya Rocket. Alright, Ya Rooster. Alright, Ya Dafty. Alright, Ya Maddy. Alright. Hang on, I'll just head. <laughs> Yep, awkward Hi, silence. I'm Alex Siderson, and if you live in Burniston, you better get yourself down to Alex Siderson's Alex Siderson Warehouse. <laughs> I've been at the cutting edge of cloning technology for the past 15 years, and my Alex Siderson Warehouse is only... Which one's talking? <laughs> ...only the very best Alex Siderson's. Maybe that's why people say Alex Siderson's full of himself. <laughs> That's why I can sell these Alex Sidersons so cheaply. I'm practically giving myself away. My Alex Sidersons are a hit in the dining room. So he's selling himself. Okay. So this is how y'all get down in Bernerstone, is it? <laughs> Do you need to slurp your soup like that? It's embarrassing. I'm sorry, Pet. I can't hear you for this pig slurping his soup. <laughs> who are you calling a pig? Pulling me up in front of people. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Oh. And my Alex Sidersons are a hit in the bedroom. I bought three Alex Sidersons. That means one minute of foreplay between them all before they take turns to reassure me that... I'm sorry. This has never happened to me before. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> This has never happened to me before. Ah, I swear to God, this has never happened to me before. <laughs> so get down to Alex Siderson's Alex Siderson warehouse and tell Alex Siderson Alex Siderson sent you. Say Alex Siderson more. <laughs> I forgot the name of the company. What is it? Is it is it Cider Alexson? Uh, I forget. <laughs> Oh, not again. We had this trouble with the last episode I reacted to, where the sound cut out. <sighs> so I'm really sorry about this, guys. This pisses me off. Sit! A washer. And then a Justin Spanner. Hey. I thought that was Tam, then. I don't know. Come on. Mark Cox. What is it you want them for? It's a It's meant to slot on your aspect here. Tell me what's the name of that sketch and I'll react to it. Like, tomorrow or something. 
sketch we've made. I don't missed. think so, pal. You got the instructions? I need to find That's somewhere the worst else to watch this. I've ever seen in my puff, son. <laughs> what is that meant to be there? You can never buck and tell what a buck you're meant to do there in a million bucking years. Buck? <laughs> I can wait and spill my coffee or your bullets, pal. <laughs> Any chance you could jump in and get us another one? Aye, a black tea for me, son. Now let's have a look at these pieces now. That doesn't look right to me. Well, let's test it out. Yeah, I'll test it. No, I'll test it. I'll test it. I'll test it. I'll test it. Test it. Test it. <laughs> He's going to right, shoot well, himself shoot. in the foot or something. Oh, yeah, look. Hell, that big arrogant bastard for the lawyers. You have a fright. You're big yeah, dick. He's a shot. <laughs> Your son, where are you off to? You don't want a shot, no? Right. Oh, here, look. Isn't look. he the one supposed to be shoot, doing the oh, shooting? See, he's the guy office, in the suit. Smoking a cigar. Bet you nobody else in that whole building is allowed to smoke. Aye, uh, bucking typical, aye. I'm going to shoot that cigar right out his fat lips. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Excellent work again, number five. Huh? Seven million euros has just been wired to your bank account. <laughs> All right, I'm Jolly Boy John. Jolly Boy John wearing shoes. Is it just me, or does he remind me? Does he remind you of Winston a little bit? The trackies and the glasses and the so, that sort of colour coat. Shoes is for real, for real. Jolly boy join wearing these dash shoes is for real, for real. Jolly boy join wearing these dash shoes on his feet and his nice shoes on his horns is for real, for real. Jolly it's boy John wearing his mask shoes and his feet and all his dad's shoes doing his pants and shouting squirrels all the time. That's for real. For real. For real. Squirrels. 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 What you're seeing is all for. I've heard of shoving a sock down there, but this guy's taking that to a whole new plane. Real. The US, you could be as for real as Jolly Boy John. Get real! <laughs> now on BBC Berniston, award winning Scottish drama, The Drugs. Oh, not again. For fuck's sake. One sec. Right, it's there. Oh, I'll just do it now, okay? Join the right. 80% of top Fortune 100 companies already using Asana. Visit asana.com. I'm sorry I even have to do this. Woman, Miami Wolf Theory and, and a member of the furry fandom. Now on BBC Berniston, no award-winning Scottish drama, The Drugs. What's up? Not in the... My mommy's grave. If you've done the drugs, a boy you're both the kid, da. It's got a picture of the Virgin Mary on it. I'm sorry, son. Since your mommy died, I'll never turn to the drugs, da. Swear to me, you'll never turn to the drugs. I swear to you. Never turn to the trucks. Swear on the Virgin Mary. 
I swear on the Virgin Mary. I swear in your mammy's grave. I swear in my mammy's grave. I swear on the Virgin Mary's mammy's grave. I swear on the Virgin Mary's mammy's grave. I'll never turn in a drug star. Good. Because if you ever day, I swear on my mammy's grave, I'll kill you. <laughs> Who did this to you? Hey, Connor. I was working for him selling the drugs to people that had turned to the drugs. <laughs> and then I turned to the drugs. <laughs> if I don't pay him back, he swore to me on his mammy's grave, he's gonna kill me. <laughs> I can see the vulture! Where are the drugs? I swear my mommy's grave if he's come to the drugs. Are... No. He's come to the drugs! <laughs> my bro, raise up. Raise up. <laughs> he's been hung out to dry. <laughs> Why'd he throw me the drugs? Why? I sure do, eh? No? I'm a gangster. And that's your debt. And I swear my mommy's grave. Oh yes, son, I've been dead to a drug dealer. I'm taking that debt on, and I swear on Fraser's grave. You can't swear on a grave that's not been dug yet. He might get cremated. And I swear on my mommy's grave. If you try to turn my son to the drugs, I'll kill you. No, I swear on my mommy's grave, I'll kill you. I swear on my mommy's grave, and your mommy's grave. Well, all the mommies and all the graves! <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry I ever bought you that girl for the Virgin Mary, won't it? But don't worry, you'll not have to look at my face for much longer. The corner! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh shit. Ma. Ma. You've got to promise to me, son. Never turn to the drugs. You promise me you won't ever. Promise me you won't ever turn. To... <laughs> promise me you won't ever turn. To the... Just say it. It's getting boring now. <laughs> what was it going to say? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. no. What was he going to say? I wonder. <laughs> oh, never no, know. What did I just... Oh, they're all on it. We live in a world full of media strength. Right, there you go. Jimmy! Jimmy! I'm turning it in the wrong... Sorry about that. Biscuity Boil. I'm Bumliston's favourite son with Biscuity Boil, and I'm here to tell you about my latest venture, Sex Ed for Adults. Oh. 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 Get away from me, then. What oh, is... No. Get away from me. Get my cell up. It's my centre of gravity, then. Because I used to be an athlete. No, you know that now. Oh. Stay on me. Oh. Oh, mommy, dad, I think I've went and urulated myself a wee bit there. <laughs> anyway. Urulated? <laughs> That's a good one. Here's some in my testicles. <sighs> I've never done any of Biscuit's classes, no. It's, it's nice that he keeps himself busy, but... He's a very lonely old fella. I feel sorry for him in a way. He's uh, quite obese. <sighs> Sex education. Shouldn't it end at school? Even grown-ups need to be taught to learn how to teach themselves, to keep learning how to treat 
the levels where he's staying. Oh, I'm going here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> what I was always like this. Oh yeah. But my joke is wrong. Oh. 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 I've done a let one half now. Right, fab biscuit and boil. Let one half in and urinate no he's in advert. I've done that camera half well. Your romantic day of love will be enhanced by the wisdom of Burniston's favourite son. How was that? You should be a bastard athlete. I can't even get my joke your body up some stairs. Oh, oh no, no, leave me hand. Oh, he's Don't you know I mean? I can pull up my intrusers. Oh. 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 Right on cue. I'm sorry, Hen, I never met. Oh, oh no. Oh. Mommy, Daddy, what am I like? What are you Just like? Just leave me. Just leave me to die. Super old wrestler. <laughs> Guess I'm right, you can be easier for me, Will. <laughs> Sex ed for adults. Only from Biscuit oh. Boyle. Oh, perfect. Burniston's favourite son. How was that? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to helping people. Yeah. yeah. Right, bye bye. That's me doing my volunteer bit for the helpline. What helpline? That kind of support type of thing. People needing people to talk to, they phone up and they get put through to me. So I'm going to need the phone to be clear. Right? I will. I need the phone as well. I've got a phone line job too. What phone line job? Sex line. <laughs> Guys wanting to talk to honky studs get put through to me. Guys looking for honky studs. Right, look, I need the phone kept free for off 70 midnight. How oh, so they are? Put it on speakerphone. <laughs> Hello? Hi there. I'm needing someone to talk to. Somebody special. Special how? Somebody who likes to listen. It's yours. I'm like so I can see where this is going. It's going to go back and forth. <clears throat> and they're going to be both thinking, no, it's for me. No, it's for me. No. And then <laughs> this is going to be good. Somebody who likes to listen. It's yours. And likes other things as well. <laughs> <coughs> what kind of things? My boyfriend's not here, so... He left me for somebody else. I I'm really lonely. <laughs> lonely Max. in what way? Max lonely. Max. Sad lonely or lonely? Horny lonely. <laughs> Sorry? What did you say there? He's offended. He's mine. <laughs> On the one hand, it's great, cos... He had no interest in sex anymore, whatsoever. Well, sex is all I'm interested in, pal. But on the other hand, he was everything to me. I, I feel like killing myself. Oh, no, that's... Let's not think like that. That's never the answer. It's strange. I, I feel so depressed and down. It takes time. And yet, I've never felt so horny. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can help you with that, mate. Why don't you start by taking off your clothes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, 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 the black grieving clothes of your mind, take them off. I feel like nobody wants me. Oh, I'm, sh I'm sure that's not true. Having a one night stand just to prove I'm still desirable. Oh, make up your mind, mate. Eh? <laughs> do you want to have help with your problems or do you want phone sex? Are you saying you offer both? One for <laughs> other, mate. Who did you phone? At this point, they might as well just offer both. They're both there. This guy's, you know, he's going one way, then he's going the other. He should just... They should just offer a dual service. <laughs> I phone for help. Right, that's it decided. Suicidal it is. OK. But now that you mention it... Oh, then my... sex talk might cheer me right up. <laughs> <laughs> A number one single and a number one album. Quite. Oh, the radio. The the last one. It was that guy that could uh, see the future. <laughs> it was good that I enjoyed that. An achievement for a boy from Burniston. 
Oh no. Listen, I don't want to talk about Bonniston. Bonniston is a shithole. Okay, we've called this emergency council meeting to attend to the very public comments it? made by the pop star, the MC Hottie Boxtrot, made about our fine mm -hmm. city. The quote being, and I quote, Bonniston is a shithole. <laughs> now, how are we oh, going to respond to on. this slur? Well, he's right. That is a shithole. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we've called this emergency council meeting to attend to comments made by Burneson Councillor Roddy Port-Seaton, made at an emergency council meeting called to attend to the very public comments made by the pop star, the MC Hottie Box Trot, who Haughty said, Box Trot. and I quote, Burneson is a, a shithole. Shit hole. To which Councillor Roddy Port-Seaton commented, and I quote, well, he's right. It is a shithole. <laughs> well, it is. It's a bloody shithole. <laughs> a statement to which Councillor Roddy... OK, now, yeah. So I can see where this one's going already. Right, here's the thing with Bernerstone. There's a bit too much repetitiveness for my liking. You know? It, like... Chewing the fat, that's a, that's a sketch show, a sketch comedy show, but each sketch, it keeps getting, it, there's always something new that comes after it, it gets fresher and fresher, but with this, it's a bit repetitive. So I know I said when I watched the first episode of this that it was better than the first episode of Still Game or Chewing the Fat, but since then, no offence, but I think it's got a bit worse. I'm not liking this as much. You know, whereas those two, chewing the fat still get they got better as they went on. For me, this is getting worse as it goes on. I'm just saying, you know, you want my honest opinion, I'm giving you it. I'm not going to lie to you. So, that's how I feel a bit. You know, I mean, with them twats in the ice cream van and some sketches, it's just a bit repetitive. The report Seaton initially replied, well, he's right, it is a shithole. A comment which, when read out at an emergency council meeting of a fortnight ago, was met with a comment from Councillor Roddy Portseaton himself. The quote being, and I quote, Well, it is. It's a bloody shithole. Well, it is. It is. Here we go again. To which oh, Councillor Roddy Portseaton screamed, and I quote, Well, it is. It is. Well, it is. <laughs> My apologies. For everyone's going. Major. Everyone's left. This emergency <laughs> council meeting. Show. Show. Apologies oh, for the short notice. Show. Show. <laughs> My show. <laughs> My shithole. <laughs> Okay, that was funny. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Lucas Aid. I could just do a Lucas Aid right now. <laughs> Shit home. <laughs> say it, just say it, and we can all go home. Dog hair. How does, how does it get in the mouthpiece of my vape? My apologies for the delay in the commencement. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not repetitive. That's good. Yeah, okay. So it, it was getting repetitive, but then, yeah, it started getting a bit more creative. A bit more intelligent. Yeah, okay. I, I'll give that a pass. <laughs> Is that enough? Can't believe I forgot my phone. I've not got a clue what time it is. I'm going to be late for the wane. I could ask the lassies the time. 
No, can't do that. Grown man talking to schoolgirls on the bus. No, look well, sus. Oh, brilliant. Now she thinks I was looking at her. Did you see that mad pedo on the bus? <laughs> Idiot. Listen to yourself. This is you buying into all this suspicion and paranoia about men in society. Don't let them date to you. You're just a guy that needs to know the time. Oh, you're just, just making it worse. There's a pervert now. <laughs> Maybe I think you were looking at. No. No, they don't. They don't. Look, you've got a Wayne. Show them a picture of the Wayne, then ask them the time. You're all right if you've got a Wayne. What are you doing, you nut job? Wait, so. He's going to try and prove that he's not a nonce by showing them a picture he has of a child that they don't know is his. Oh dear. <laughs> this is how you end up on a register. <laughs> Do you want to see my Wayne? Do you want to see some puppies, girls? <laughs> a grown man does not approach an unknown school girl for any reason and that's it. Don't Even say that. Even if it's just to ask a time. <laughs> Oh, this is mental. You're going to be late for the Wayne. Find out the time. Excuse me. Jackie King. <laughs> BBC Bonus and Snare the Beast. What were you? <laughs> He's been... Oh, no. To catch a predator. <laughs> just about to do. I was just going to ask the time. You were just going to ask the time. You, a stranger, were going to approach two schoolgirls. I've got a Wayne. I've got a win. Oh. Textbook answer of the beast. I think society's had its fill of this monster. Beast Wrangler. Smell. Beast Wrangler. <laughs> Men were all beasts. Watch us get snared one by one. Oh man, BBC Berniston. Just a little quick uh, side rant. Well, not really a rant, just a. Uh... My two cents, really. So, yeah, I wish there was, like, a beast a beast wrangler going round with one of those snaring nonces. But instead of just snaring them and, like, I don't know, mocking them to somewhere where they can be kept, just strangle them with it. Save us all the taxpayers' money of keeping them in prison. Just, yeah, just end them. There's literally no advantage to keeping them alive at all. I don't care who they are, and I don't care if you disagree with that, because, quite frankly, you've no right to disagree with me on that. So, yeah, that's my thoughts. <laughs> Hiya, my name's Monsters. Kelly McLeod. Animals. I'm glad I'm doing this wee documentary thing, actually, you know, just in case when my DVD comes out, I need any extras on that. You should always get extras. That's what my ma always said. <laughs> but then my ma worked in a sauna. Anyway, the day me and my band, Kelly and the Sloppy Seconds, are away to get a <laughs> photo shoot done. That's if they two wee ugly bastards are singing, we don't crack your lenses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls, if you can all get really close in together. Callie's stinking, but like, she's actually stinking. Sorry, I couldn't shower. My water's been cut off because know how my dad's in the jail for driving his motor into that old folks' home, and know how my mas went to Malia with that Polish guy for you know how that Interpol wanted list thing, and any money I had, I had to spend on paying off the reporters for you know how that wee crime magazine, the Grasser, for it stopped them writing a story about know how my brother and his bare knuckle fight gang. No, how we want to shut no. up. <laughs> exactly. This is Kelly and the sloppy settings. No Carly and her mental family full of rockets. And a wee stupid pal Emma. And oh, bye. <laughs> Good word. Mental Kelly and a family full of rockets. Uh, Kelly and a mental family full of rockets. Oh, that's a bit long. Uh, I don't know. Either put mental Kelly or family full of rockets. By the way, beautiful Kelly McGlade, stoning up the back, waiting for her bandmates to stop talking shite. Sorry. Are we you going to spray some of this onion up ye? <laughs> Emphasis. Actually, no. That's the code word. Onion and up ye. There you go. Nice and short. Don't up ye. So Kelly, do you think I could do a few solo shots of yourself or your bandmates going? Powder on noses. You heard the memo. Are we going to powder your nose? Know the way your brother does it? <laughs> Murder, so there. Couple of lucky wee tramps. Right, what do you want for me? 
Well, I can see you're a very determined young woman, Kelly. You're a go-getter. And that means we're very similar people. Because when I see a lassie I want, I go get her. <laughs> That's hilarious. I hope you develop your photos better than you develop your humorous concepts. Oh, I'd like to develop something inside of you. Mate, the only chance you would have had is if I'd met you in your dark room and I didn't know what an ugly bastard you were. I thought a fish eye was a lens until I saw your face. You won't get anywhere in this game with that kind of attitude, darling. Excuse me? Attitude? I'm a Bernstein lassie. We were born with attitude. My first words were a slagging off for my health visitor. <laughs> my first steps were a run-up to kicking my dad in the buzz. So don't you tell me I'm not going to get anywhere. <laughs> no, that's Craig Lang. That's No, that that's Craig Lang, babies. Or what, girls, whatever. Yeah, that's Craig Lang. <laughs> oh. Or uh, Park Mill. Or... Uh, Yeah, that's the that's the Comanche country and smoke on the water that they end up in, isn't it? Park Mill, yeah. Kids from there, that's that's them. <laughs> so yourself, you wee hairy. <laughs> no. Do you think you can give me fears? Fears. <laughs> <laughs> Is that fierce enough for you? Oh fierce. Not fears. <laughs> I've been looking over this book of humorous quotations you've been putting together for us. Some cracking lines in there, eh? Hmm. I had asked you to unearth some new lines, you know, so it wasn't all the same old lines as in all the other books. Oh, I did. Found some belters. You think? Some of them seem a little bit, um... I don't know. In the section on the arts, on opera, we have Noel Coward's People are wrong when they say that opera is not what it used to be. It is what it used to be. That is what is wrong with it. Huh? I like that one. Yeah, things like that are good. Yeah. And then here we have a quote by Anon. I see Anon's not a person's name. It's not like Cher. It's actually short for anonymous. <laughs> yeah, I know what Anon means. Now, this particular Anon has this to say on the subject of opera. <clears throat> Opera is like something you would put into a bin. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I like it. I like it. Do you get it? Because you put rubbish into a bin. Yeah, there's not exactly a lot of wit in it, is there? Mm -hmm. Aye. That's what a lot of guys think. That's what a lot of guys would hit out with. Opera is rubbish. Well... When we do the book of what a lot of guys would hit out with, then I'll bear it in mind, but we're looking for quotations here that are better than your average person would come up with. Sometimes you just need to be right to the point, though. The section on Oscar Wilde. All good stuff, as you'd imagine. And then up pops Anon with this response to Wilde's writing. Oh, this is good. Dorian Gray. Please. Please tell me that what I think is coming, is coming. Borean Grey, more like. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to say Dorian Grey, more like Dorian Gay, because it was Oscar Wilde's Gay, oh, Borean, um, surprisingly PG. Hmm. <laughs> 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 That's classic. I mean, you ask a guy to read Dorian Gray, that's what he'd blast out with. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care what a guy would blast out with. Right, here we have Anon on the subject of the news. The news, the snooze, more like. Oh, Anon hmm. on the subject of children. Children are like wasps. Annoying wee bastards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, belters. I mean, do you think... Now... I can agree and disagree with that. I mean, yeah, most of the time, it, it's other, for me, it's other people's children that are annoying wee bastards. You know, like when you're on the bus or when you're in a restaurant or somewhere where you sit down for uh, an extended period of time and you have to be there to 
use that service, whatever it is. So you have to sit in a restaurant to use it, you have to sit on a bus to use it, etc. And there's always somebody there with their kid crying out. Or in a supermarket, there's always someone there with a crying kid kicking off because they haven't got what they wanted. But, you know, if it's a kid in my family, then I'm, I'm fine with it. But other people's kids can't stand them. <laughs> yeah, they are like wasps. Strangers' kids are like wasps. Annoying wee bastards. I think these belong alongside Wilde and Mark Twain. I mean, perhaps you could point me in the direction of the humour in this particular Anon classic. I mean, this is a real standout for me. <coughs> Jazz. Pure shite. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I mean, oh, that is what. I mean, that is... Exactly what you'd hear a guy hit out with. Yeah, you know what it seems like to me? It seems like we have asked you to compile a book of the wittiest things ever said, and all you've done is filled it with your own honking patter. Now, would that be right? Honking Anon. patter. <laughs> Are you not happy with the book? I'll answer that by pointing in the direction of the sole Sir Alan Sugar quote in this thing you've compiled. What's that? You're fired. Ooh. <laughs> Book of quotations. Aye. Book of pish, my like. Fuck <laughs> 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 You think you can survive a week without me? Just a bit. Try not to play with yourself too much, please. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye. Bye. Oh, no. I can't look. You know, that would be perfect. Um, so, you could take a picture of me sat here filming a reaction video, and you could use that as an example of what our parents think we do when we're home alone, and then. No, no, use that as what they think we do when we're home alone, and then use me as an example of what we actually do when we're home alone, because that's what they think we do. <laughs> you know, if there's any parents watching, you know that's what you think we do. As soon as we're alone in the house. That's what you think we're, we're up to. You need to calm down. <laughs> right, that's it. Um, okay, so that's the end of another episode of Burnerstoon, episode three. Um... So, yeah, as I said, this just wasn't it for me. I'm sorry. No, I hardly laughed at all. I didn't burst out laughing properly anything like the last one, uh, the last reaction, you know, the Still Game Live part three of that. Not even like the last episode of this. I mean, it. please tell me that this is just like a one-off and it gets better. Because this was, this was, I'm sorry, but this was awful. I actually wish I hadn't done this tonight. I wish I'd done something else, like another Chewing the Fat or that Still Game documentary. That would probably have been funnier than this. I'm sorry, but this, I, it was crap. Absolute crap. Ver, I mean, not, I mean, crap compared to what I was ex expecting. I'm sorry, but it just was. Um, Yeah, not much more to say. Um, I expected better. So, uh, what can I say? I hope at least you enjoyed it. Sorry I couldn't enjoy it as much as you were hoping. Um, if you did enjoy it though, please do give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'd also like to 
give a shout out to my wonderful Patreons, the lovely Eva, uh, Liz, Reckless Love Productions, Ewan Reed, Stephen McKenzie, John Duncan, Robert Trimble, Reese Craig, Colin Davidson, and my latest new Patreon, Dr. Akula. So, yeah, a huge, huge thank you to all of you for choosing to support me through my Patreon. It means so much to me. I cannot tell you how grateful I am to have you guys supporting me in that way. The best way that anyone can ever support any content creator on social media financially. Because it's the way that really helps us make better content and give us the drive to try our absolute hardest. So, thank you for choosing to support me. And I'm going to try and make these shout-outs a, a regular thing. Because I haven't got a, an editing app where I can put the names of you guys on the end of the video yet. I haven't worked out how to do that. I need someone to help me with stuff like that on the channel, actually. So if anyone knows how to do that, please do get in contact with me through the Facebook page. The link to that is in the About section on the channel. Um... Yeah, and also please do go and check out the Patreon page. It's in the description of every video that I post, and the, I mean the link to the Patreon is in the description of every video, and it's in the About section of the page, so you can see it there. Uh, but that's going to be it. So yeah, as I said, not the best. Um, it was, it was just okay, to be honest. Oh well, never mind. Eh? Hopefully the next reaction will be better. It should be. It can't be as bad as this, surely. So, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're all okay. I hope you're having a good week. Um, and, yeah, just thank you. I'll uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm the Archman Reacts. And until next time, take care. Goodbye for now. Much love. Thanks. Bye.